You know, I remember back in the day, our mom used to set us in front of the TV, and of course, that we, we would watch a couple of movies every day. Of course, being Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead, and many others, and of course, this movie. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Hell, fuck me yeah, dog. Hell, fuck me yeah. You know, uh, one of the best live-action Disney movies ever made. Yeah, this is Derek Yasha, and today I'm going to review Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Now, I know if I mess up in the review, you could, you could point out, you know, some things and, you know, down in the comments. But mainly I'm going off of memory, okay? So, mainly the movie starts off, of course, with, uh, you know, Wayne uh, Zuzinski, or however you say his name. We'll just say Wayne, okay? Wayne goes to work, of course, and he's working on this invention, you know, this shrinking machine. Okay, so pretty much uh, what happens is, of course, you know, uh, he brings the machine home, of course, and he's, he's trying to shrink things, but the machine keeps on blowing up things. Okay, and then, you know, you have the, the sister and the brother, of course, you know, Amy and Nick, you know. Um, pretty much, uh, what they do is they're just chilling, right? And mainly the two Russell brothers, of course, uh, Ron Russell and, of course, Russell Jr. Uh, decide to play baseball, okay? They're playing baseball, and, of course, uh, uh you know, uh, Jr., of course, Russell Jr., um, bullies Nick around, of course, you know, so, you know, at first, I did not like the character, but, but later he would become likable when he has sudden change of heart. No, I know, but, um, mainly what happens is, of course, you know, uh, the, the, the base, the baseball hits the machine, and then, uh, Nick and Amy shrink, and then, you know, the other two kids come in there, and then they shrink, too. And mainly what happens is, of course, you know, um, they're trying to find out what happened to the kids, okay? So, you know, uh, um, Wayne, Wayne finds out that he shrunk the kids, and also the Russell boys, too, okay? No, I know, and then uh, what happens is, of course, uh, mainly they, get, they go into the backyard, of course, trying to... Uh, try to travel and try to find the the machine so that they could get themselves big again, of course. No, I know, and, you know, they go on misadventures, of course, in the backyard, you know, uh, crazy shit happens, of course, that the sprinklers go off, and mainly the water is, is uh, you know, dripping down, like, real heavy, of course, and, of course, you know, that could kill them. And, of course, you have insects trying to attack them and things like that. And then, of course, they, they come across Ante, of course. And they're eating um, oatmeal pie cookies, you know, Little Debbie's oatmeal pie cookies. Okay, so, you know, they come across Ante and they give Ante the oatmeal pie cookie, you know. No, I know, but um, mainly the rest of the movie is just filler, and then, you know, gets back to the kids, of course, you know, they're, they're just, you know, talking, whatever. Amy uh, wants to love Ron, basically. She falls in love with, she falls in love with Ron, okay? And, of course, Russell Jr. has a, a good friendship, of course, with Nick. So, see, th this, uh, this experience brought them together, you know, uh, uh, very close, if you know what I mean, like, Ron and Amy are very close, and, of course, that Nick and Junior is very close. So, yeah, you know, Junior is likable, you know, but then, uh, what happens is, of course, you know, um, they're trying to sleep, and, of course, Auntie is trying to sleep too, and then this big-ass scorpion comes and kills Auntie, which is a shot in the balls, okay, because 
You know, I really did like Auntie. Auntie is one of my favorite characters, okay? I'm not gonna lie. Auntie is one of my favorite characters out of the whole thing. Okay, but, you know, that, that shattered my, um... That, sh that shattered me, you know, when I seen Auntie died. You know, I was like, uh, rest in peace to uh, OG Auntie, okay? No, I know, but basically, um, what happens is they're trying to attack the, the scorpion or whatever, and, of course, that they, they throw spears at it and, and try to throw fire at it or something. It goes away, and then, of course, you know, uh, mainly they're, they're just trying to get back inside the house. I think eventually they do, and, you know, uh, Nick is, no, not Nick, Wayne, my mistake, Wayne is, is, uh, sweeping up, and of course, uh, the kids got caught up in, uh, the sweeper or whatever, got thrown back outside, I think they try to get back inside, they go in, uh, they go on the dog's nose, of course, and it brings them into the kitchen, which also brings them to the Cheerios, and mainly they're inside the Cheerios, and then, you know, um, Wayne sees them in Cheerios, and then he turns them back into normal size, and then the movie just ends. No, I know, uh, you know, the movie is 90 minutes long, you know, it's a very long film, you know. Um, I, I couldn't, you know, just review the whole thing, I reviewed half of it, I know, like, bits and pieces of the film, but what do you expect, you know? But, um, anyways, the film gets 5 out of 5, you know, the acting is top notch, um, the cinematography is top notch, you know, the visuals is top notch, you know, um, uh, did I already say that? I, I think so, um, mainly, uh, you know, everybody plays good roles, of course, uh, you know, Rick Moranis, Mick Moranis is a fucking G, man, anything he's in, Okay, anything he's in, he he makes the movie even more awesome than what it is, okay? The man was in Ghostbusters. That fucking movie is awesome. Okay, the man was in Big Bully. That movie was awesome. Okay, anything the man is in, you know, but um you know, Mick Rick Morandis is a G in this film, man. I'm not gonna even lie. And also, you know, Amy. Amy did a good job as Amy, okay? And, you know, everyone else did a good job. You know, um, the special effects and the practical effects, very good. Okay, very good for a live-action movie. Uh, the music, the music was done excellent, okay? And also that you that you have that famous song. Yeah, pretty awesome. And, you know, the scores are very good in this film. You know, very good. And overall, the movie itself, you know, very enjoyable. You know, you are going to like the characters. You are going to like everything about this movie. You know, I know it's a 1989 film, but, you know, I, uh, I was born in 1989, but I don't know if the film came out before or after I was born, basically. I, I don't know, but, you know, uh, the movie was... Um, you know, with the budget of eighteen million, and of course that it made a lot of money in the box office. But yeah, you know, overall, you know, if you if uh, you, you never watched Honey and Shrunk the Kids, then you know, just go out try to find this DVD. I know it's out of print now, but you know, just trust me on this. This is a very good film, and you will like it. But you know, as for the other two sequels, they were okay. Honey, I blew up the kid, and Honey. We shrunk ourselves, yeah. They were okay. You know, they were alright, but but they're not as good as this first movie. Believe me, this first movie was just fucking awesome. You know, just, just fucking awesome, believe me. You know, very good. Okay, very good. Alright, I don't know what else to say about the movie. But anyways, that's my movie review for Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and I'm out. Peace.